So, I'm gonna talk about my first club ex bar experience, actually. It's not club, it was bar. So, I used to live next to like this gay bar called Chaps in Edinburgh, right? I think it's 1991. And I always wanna go there, right? So, but I live like 15 minutes away from it. And I used to pass this and I was like, I wanna go there, I wanna go there. But consideration for my family all the time, I was like, no, it would mortify somebody going to see me. So I would go, right? Across the street was a Edinburgh Cathedral. And I would go there and I would sit down and I would wait for hours and hours and hours. And I couldn't get the courage or the guts to go over the road. And so I would go home. And I'd do that night after night. I would go out very late at night, like 12 o'clock. And I would do that night after night after night. And I would go home, no courage, right? So this particular night, I was like, I'm going to go in there. And I'm going, and I'm over there, and I'm trembling. My stomach is going like, um, I don't, I can't explain it. Right, and I'm thinking, if they're going to let me in, is I live in a white city. And it's all white people in, the, in there, so don't know what's gonna happen. And back them days, it's a black door, and you have to buzz, and they look down in, on you through a little hole, and if they wanna let you in or not, if you not look too gay, and I'm like, what's gonna happen? So this particular night, I pick up the courage, and I look up and down, up and down, up and down, and see if anybody coming, anybody I know, and I run across the street, stand up and buzz the buzzer, and I'm trembling and I'm begging God, please, 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 let, 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 let them let me in, let them let me into the bar. And, and I see the camera looking, and the guy looked through the wall, and he opened the door. And I was like, I feel so, something like something free. So when I went in, the first thing I went, I went to where the papers are, because they got the boys and pink magazines, but they were broadsheet in the corner. And I buy myself a Coca-Cola. And I went up the stairs, and everybody was just looking at me, and I was like, wow. Oh, it's like I'm in heaven. Literally, like, I feel like I was in heaven. I feel completely free and happy. And I was down in the bar area, then I take the backs. It was, when you go to the door, you can go down to the toilet, and you can and you can go up to the dance floor and i went up and these guys are looking at me and i start to like panic but i panic in a good way because i literally feel like i'm in heaven i've never been i can't explain the buzz that i feel so i buy a coke sit down in the corner look at the paper really fast went up the dance floor look around a couple guys look at me smile at me and then i i spent like an hour or less than that and then i went out and I I was so happy in myself is that it was an achievement for me you don't understand it was like I feel I was in heaven basically I'm sorry to say but it feel like I was in heaven and all the stress and the relief and everything just gone so I was um that's my cat going mental is a Bangoli and and um, I was, I was, I was walking down the street when I come out. I'm dancing, cause I am feeling so good in the roundabout at the top of the street. So I jump in the roundabout, dancing on the roundabout, and then this car beep is on at me, and I was like, when I look at the car, and the car stop, and I was like, hmm, we wonder who is that, and and so. I went to went near to the car and I realized, freaking hell! It's like go backward. It's like this guy, right? He live on. I, he used to pass where I live, a certain time, and I said, if I want to date somebody, that's the guy I would want to date or go out with. But he never ever once look at me. It was like this hot guy walk past my street all the time when I'm in the garden with my niece and nephew, and he would never look at me. And I thought, he's He's the guy. So this, I never knew he was paying any attention with me. I was like, think about him, forget about him. You know, one of these things, I never gonna have him or go near him. He's too, he's like a hot person, basically. Never look at myself as hot. 
and I was and I forget about it. And this night when I do that courage, go in the bar and I come down and I'm dancing on the roundabout, his car swing along, stop, beep. And I'm like, I don't know anybody with that car. So I go to the car and I realize, bloody hell, what the hell is going on here? I was in a, in another heaven. Cause it's like, this guy asked a few times and I was like, it's never gonna, win. he doesn't even look at me. I'm not in his league. And he was like, hey, you wanna, you wanna give you a lift? And then I turned around and goes, <laughs> I went, my, my mom, my parents said I'm not to take lift. My parents said I'm not to take lift from strangers. <laughs> and I burst out laughing. And he looked at me and he, then he went, get in the car. And I was like, no, why should I get in your car? And, then, and I said, I'll just live down there. And he was like, I live over there as well and I will give you a lift. And I was like, okay. And I, I, and I jump in his car. So he give me a lift just two minutes down the road. We talk. And I said, you want to come in? And um, we come in, he come to my flat. We talk, and we talk, and we talk. And we, 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 we talk all night that night, I remember. We just talk. And he tell me he saw me a few times. And I said, yeah, but I saw you a few times as well. But you never look at me. And he was like, I saw you and I like you. And I just don't need to look at you. And I said, but I never ever see you look at me. And we talk about lots of things. And then we fell asleep, just fell asleep and we drink a whole back hard or something and we just fell asleep that's it and he wake up and he went to work and I went to work and I remember and he said can I come and see you again can we can, can I can I can I can I can I come and see you later or something and I said yeah why not you know we never do anything at all we just talk he was one of the nicest guy I actually I know that night was like as I said I was in heaven my first night in a gay bar and it was fantastic for me it was like oh everything was just i never think of anything but i thought it was more than more everybody was friendly everybody was nice you know what i mean and it's always ever been like that ever since whichever gay bar or gay club but i will tell you more experience fabulous experience but i believe in change and i Anyway, that was a good experience, happy experience, really, really happy experience.